Hello. My name is Zoe. I'm in a coma, and this is my story. A year ago, I was living with my dad in Casablanca. I dropped out of uni. I had no idea what to do with my life. Then my friend Reza went missing. Reza's a journalist, and he was investigating a story. Some people were not too happy about that. They tried to kill him. He ran. I went looking for him. Yes, it was a stupid idea, but I had to do something for him, for myself. I followed the breadcrumbs to Wattic Corp's headquarters in Japan. You probably know Wattic Corp for their robotic toys, but now they were making a brand new entertainment device, the Dream Machine. I'm sure you've heard of it. It gives users control over their dreams. At least, that's the sales pitch. The Dream Machine was actually designed to steal memories and control people. Reza was close to exposing the truth when he vanished. I'll give you one guess at who wanted him dead. With a ton of help from friends, I finished what Reza had started. I exposed the conspiracy and stopped the Dream Machine from being released. Well, sort of. Watercorp released it anyway, a few months later, but without the mind-controlling, um, features. And it's a success, of course. Oh, and another thing. Mm, two things. Big things. After being forcibly connected to the beta version of the Dream Machine, long story, don't ask, I was, um, transported to another world. A, uh, a parallel world where, um, magic is real. Yeah, I know. Stay with me. That's where I found out that I'm a dreamer, which is like being a sort of mind wizard. Actual Jedi powers. Yay! I know, I know, but this is all real. At least, I think it's real, and not, not just a dream. Speaking of dreams, remember the coma? So, my body is lying in a hospital in Casablanca, sure, but my mind is trapped in a different place. A place called the story time. If you walk away now, I don't blame you. It's a lot to take in. And I'm not quite done. See, the woman who injected me with the drugs and put me in this coma? Her name's Helena Chang, and she's involved with the Dream Machine Project. Also, she's my mother, who was supposed to be dead, according to my father, who lied to me. Confused? Welcome to my life. My name is Kian Alvane. I was once the Apostle. I am now a convicted traitor. Tomorrow morning, I die. One year ago, I left Azadir, my homeland, for Mercuria, capital of the Northlands. I've been sent to this city to find and assassinate the leader of the insurgents opposing our benevolent military rule. But when I arrived in Mercuria, I saw that people here were not as happy about the occupation as we'd been led to believe. And I learned that magicals were not the cruel and soulless creatures we'd always heard about. My convictions were further put to the test when I realized our leaders in Mercuria were corrupt and faithless, and that they were planning to not only destroy any and all opposition, but eradicate magic altogether. When I finally found the rebel leader, a human woman named April Ryan. I could not in good conscience carry out my assignment. There were too many questions. I refused to murder her. And for that, I was arrested and charged with treason. My mission, my faith, my life, they're all built on lies. Tomorrow I die. I'm ready. Good evening, Warden. How do your prisoners fare? 
Commander, all is well. If you like, I could show you... I'm not here to inspect your prison, Warden. I'm here to speak about one prisoner. Ah, your apostles. Alvane. He's an apostle no more. He was a tool, but he lost his edge. He's no longer of any use to us. No. It's time we put all of this behind us. Would you care to translate, Commander? I'm afraid my ability to read between the lines is somewhat lacking. We want Kian Alvane's execution to be... hastened. I see. I, I thought your six would need to judge and condemn Alvani before... When did you become an expert on Azadi law, Warden? Well, I'm not, sir, but we have laws and regulations of our own, Commander. I was told that Kian Alvani would be sent to Sadir to and stand... I I am telling you to carry out his sentence. Tonight! What? Uh, uh, impossible. Uh, I, I need to call in the executioner and... How soon? Well, by first light, at the earliest, but still... First light, then. But what about the paperwork? I mean, the proper documents, signed and stamped. This goes one of two ways, Warden. Either you do what you're told, and execute Kian Alvani by first light. Or you find yourself hanging right next to him when the sun kisses the top of Friar's Keep tomorrow morning. How it plays out is entirely up to you. You have your orders, Warden. Barbarians. I have only one memory of my mother. She held me close one night and sang an old song from her country. I don't remember the melody, but I remember the words. Sleep, child, sleep. Sleep in your mother's heart. Let the wind blow and the rain fall. Hear the executioner's call. Watch the traitor's head roll as the shadow takes his soul. Sleep, child, sleep. We shall never part, for we will soon be free, together forever in the cold, cold sea. Ah, Alvani, you are here. Good. I hear you uh, turned down your last meal. Hmm, pity. I personally approve the menu. There were a... Uh, <clears throat> Sausages. He wants me to plead. I shall not. Hmm. Quite. You were always a man of few words, Alvani. A rational pragmatist to the end. I approve. As you know, your execution will take place at dawn. I have to admit that I'm, I'm curious why, after so long, there's such a sudden rush to see you dead. I'm very curious. But, uh, <clears throat> that's not why I'm here, no. As you also know, you have the choice between hanging and beheading. As far as I can tell, you have yet to, um, voice a preference. If you forfeit this choice, it'll be left to me to decide the, uh, <clears throat> instrument of death. I simply want to ensure we've dotted every I and crossed every T. A warrior deserves to die by the blade. But do I deserve that death? I laid down my own sword. I turned on my own people. Hang me. The noose it is. I shall make a note of it. <clears throat> Do you have no family, Alvani? My family is very important to me. Almost as important as my duty to this city and this office. In the event of my own death, it would pain me to know that they would be left with no answers. No body to bury. No closure. I, I know you're a man of faith, a man of principle. I also understand that things happen to hmm, make you question your calling. What I do not understand is why you've um, <clears throat> simply decided to give up, to, um, to stop fighting. 
To have everything you believe in fall to pieces. To be asked to continue a war that you have no faith in. By commanders that you can no longer trust. You would not understand. Try me, Albani. You may come to see that we're more alike than you thought. I have no family. No country. So leave me be. And let me prepare for death in peace. Very well. Everything has been uh, properly filed. I have no reason to question the order of execution. Even threatened me with dismissal, and worse, should I stand in the way of their orders. They don't know me very well. Threats mean nothing. Proper paperwork, on the other hand. Well, I will simply have to <clears throat> accept that my questions will remain forever unanswered. Well, I shall see you at first light, Alvani. The noose will be ready for you. Get up, Kian. There isn't much time. About bloody time. Come on, let's go. What's going on? No time for answers. Let's get a move on. What's going on down there? That boy is a major order riot. We're getting you out of here. Who are you? Do I know you? I bloody well hope so. You were this close to running me through with your sword. What? The Swamp City? Precisely. Where I made a daring swashbuckling last minute escape. And you were arrested by your own commander. Quite a day, eh? If you're with the Resistance, why are you helping me escape? So that you can repay your debt and help free our city. In the meantime, we need a bloody key to get through this bloody gate. We still don't have a key, boy. We will need a key to open this gate. What's going on out there? Huh. Wish I knew. Yazadi are entrenched. They're up to something. There ain't been a lot of new troops arriving, but then again, they've stopped pushing north. They only appear interested in holding the city. Saya and Vermon are still in charge. Oh, uh, they're in charge, all right. But rumors say one of the bloody six is arriving soon, which is why we need to be ready. Something's about to go down. Hey! Hey! He's still breathing. Help me! I've seen him around the prison. I don't think he's been here that long. And I don't think he's long for hey, this world. Hey, you! Over! <coughs> he might know how to get out of here. I don't think... Do you know how to get through that gate? The guard. He, <coughs> he, he has a key in his pocket. There must be something we can do for him. Anything. I can't. Is there anything I can do for you? Anything at all? My. <coughs> my family. Tell them. Tell them what happened to me. Tell them I love them very much. And that. <coughs> My children, tell them they make me proud. I can give no promises. I don't even know if we'll make it out of here alive, or where my path will take me next. And I can't make a promise that I might not be able to keep. I shall try, but I cannot make any promises. I understand. Please try if you can. They live in the bones. My name is Stunt. Armstrong. Thank you. Please. <coughs> Please finish me before the cards find me. They won't be gone. Kill me. Please. <coughs> Please kill me. Kill me. Please. <coughs> 
Please kill me. This is an innocent man. I can't simply murder him. In the face of my own death, I swore to never take another life. Perhaps the guards will show mercy and spare him. I... I I'm sorry. I cannot do that. I have sworn to spare the innocent. I... <coughs> I understand. Go. Before they come. We just leave him like that? I can't murder an innocent man. I won't force you to, Kian. You have the key? Excellent. Now unlock the gate. We will need a key to open this gate. They have different keys for every floor, so you might as well leave that one in the lock. Follow me, boy. We're going up, not down. Upwards, ever upwards. Down there, you'll only find fiery death. The way out of here is up, up, up. What did you mean, repay a debt? You damn near wiped us out, boy. Your last minute reversal didn't help save anyone, aside from your own soul, mayhap. And now is your chance at repentance. I don't want repentance. I'm ready to die for my crimes. Why don't you just leave me here? You may be ready to die, Kian, but the Resistance certainly isn't. And we need you. Now, find a way to open this bloody door. Something long and thin to pick the lock might do the trick. The riot is growing, moving closer. We need to keep moving up, find a way out before the keep becomes smoking rubble. What are my people really doing here in Mercuria? You tell me, boy. They are your people. I do not know. I thought I did, but I was wrong. It's not about faith, it's about something else. What they have planned, I do not believe it is the divine will of the goddess. More the unholy will of a gaggle of rotten mortal eggs. A broom. Still a broom. Torturing him to death. May the goddess lead his soul to the first mountain. There he is, up there. Was that him? The keep is surrounded by soldiers, mostly Azadi troops, it looks like. Good bowmen. I'm lucky I dodged their arrows. From the right angle, this pillow might pass as a head. A very square and soft head. A filthy head. We 
got him. I think we got him. It's undamaged and thin enough to fit in a lock. I should be able to open the gate with this. Was it right of me to leave him to that fate? I swore to never kill again, but I'm not sure it can ever be that simple. That ought to do the trick. Go on, pick the lock with the arrow. Good job. Follow me. All those years on the streets of Sadia paying off. our old friend, Mr. Murren. Balse back him. I should have known you wouldn't have let yourself get caught so easily. You're damn right. Now let us through. I'm afraid that's uh, quite impossible, Balse. Your journey ends here, I'm afraid. There's no pick in this one. He's plugged it from his side. By the Mojo's unclean genitals, Warden, open up right this bloody minute! Words, 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 Mr. Bakim. You know very well I do not respond to threats. When I get my hands on you, Warden, you will wish your grandmother had never spread her legs to your grandfather. May the Mojal befoul your filthy arsehole, Murren. Let us through right bloody now. Has the Resistance been inside the tower? Not yet. That's where you come in, boy. You're our key to the tower. That tower is a fortress. How in the name of the goddess do you expect me to find a way inside? We'll see. Maybe you'll rise to the occasion, huh? I'm afraid this is uh, <clears throat> as far as you will get. I could attempt to reason with him. See if you're... Your prisoners are revolting, Warden. Sooner or later, they will reach this floor. Let me through, and I shall be lenient and merciful. I see. And what, pray tell, is my guarantee that you'll follow through on your <clears throat> promise? Doesn't the Warden claim to be a practical man? If that's the case, he would listen to a practical argument. My leniency is your only hope at this point. Hmm, perhaps. But as you may imagine, I didn't rise to my position by taking people at their word. Particularly in a prison. Honesty is in <clears throat> short supply in here. All men of his station can be bought. If I offer to buy him, I'm sure he will be swayed. Filthy maggot that he is. You let us through. We'll pay you handsomely. <clears throat> what makes you think... I'd accept the sincerity of that offer if I didn't take your word for it in the first place. Besides, Alfani, coin will hmm, never sway me from my duty. Do you not know me well enough by now to see that it's duty dictates my ethics, not money? Go away. You tire me. There's nothing you can say to sway my mind, Alfani. You might as well admit defeat. He's refusing to listen. I must be smarter. What did he reveal of himself earlier? Is that why you're breaking me out of here? To find a way into the tower? Well, that's part of it, aye. But not all of it. You're a bloody symbol, boy. Once we've got you on our side, it'll give the boys a big, um, what's it, boost. It will increase morale? Ha! <laughs> Fat chance of that. There'll always be a bunch of booze and thieving, whoring, cursing, immoral... Morale. As in confidence. Spirit. Well, that's it. A boost to the team spirit, innit? You arriving? You'll be the flag bearer. 
The bloody drummer boy. But getting into that Mojo Blasted Tower, aye, that's a big part of it. Hmm, still trying, are you? Desperately and quite pointlessly. He may treasure his office above his blood, but maybe he will listen to reason if I appeal to his sense of family. If not for yourself, then do this for your family. Hmm, my family is important to me. I would not want my boys to grow up without a father. Their mother <clears throat> lacks the moral fortitude needed to instill duty and backbone in them. Let's forgive her. She's a good woman, but merely a woman. Very well, you make a fair point. I will trust you despite my better instincts. Step back, Elvani. Praise your gods, I don't have time for you now, Morin. But your day will come. You gave me your word, Alvani. Your word? You said I would not be harmed. You said you would let me live. Does that not count for anything anymore? Is your word so disposable you will throw it away at a whim? If you kill me, you prove your disregard for the law. You will receive your just punishment soon enough. My punishment. At least my punishment will be in the hands of those who respect laws and regulations. And not a male barbarian like yourself. This is as far as the stairwell will take us. Now we need to find a way to the roof. I didn't say I wanted to leave this place. What part of to be executed in the morning did you not get? And what part of the resistance needs you did you fail to comprehend? Why would your people trust me? I am their enemy. <laughs> you were the enemy. I trust your allegiance to your people has diminished somewhat in the past year. How do you know I won't just turn on you soon as we're out of here? Oh, I know. And others do too. Our faith is rarely misplaced. This passage leads up to the roof, but the gate's twice locked. There's no getting through. We need to find another way up. I got you this far, Kian. Now you need to put that Azadi brain of yours to work, and quick. About the tower... Let's focus on getting you out of here first, boy. They're not far behind us. Good job. Let's move. Shadow be damned. The guards are getting closer. I feel a kinship with that lonely flickering flame. We don't have much time. I draw the line at licking the plate clean. I'm hungry for red meat, but I'm not a dog. They use this contraption to transport food from the kitchens below. That chain goes up to the mechanism that raises and lowers the cage. It's covered in thick oil. I managed to wipe off a tiny bit of oil, but it won't make much of a difference. I still can't climb the chain. On the positive side, I now have an oily cloth. Hello?
curious to see where this is going. Where's the key? Someone get the goddamn keys! The oil is burning off. Oh, clever boy. I knew you wouldn't disappoint me. Still warm, but it's cooling quickly. I should be able to climb the chain now. Well, you first. If that chain's still hot, I want some warning. They've raided the nukes for you. A traitor's death. What are we doing here? Where's our cloud ship? We need to buy ourselves some time. Quick, block that gate. Use the lever to lower the bar. Quickly now. Good. Now arm yourself. Come over here now. By the Mojas blow detested, stop fucking about and get your ass over here, boy! How will we escape? I thought you'd have a ship waiting. A ship? <laughs> no, boy. Your way out of here was not on a cloud ship, but through a portal created by the very magic your people are trying to stamp out. My way? Only one of us can pass through that portal before it closes. And it requires a sacrifice. It's dark magic. It requires blood and pain. It requires a life. What? No. No! I cannot accept your sacrifice. Either both of us leave or neither. Don't be a mojo, damned fool, boy. I have made my peace with the gods. And you say the same. Besides, I may be a decent fighter, but you... Without you... The resistance will falter, and the Azadi will be victorious. Now run me through with that sword so that you can get out of here and start paying your debts. His eyes speak the truth. He has embraced death in a way I never could. Where I only saw defeat, he sees victory. I don't know where this path may lead. But what choice do I have? Cannot. I'm not worthy of such a sacrifice. Listen to me, boy. If you don't do this, then it's all for naught. The whole bloody thing. There's been too much death. Too much! Oh, for the love of the four heavens. <laughs> oh, that bloody stings. <sighs> She held me to her heart until I fell asleep. That night, she threw herself from the city walls into the shallows. Her body was never found. For the longest time, I would climb those hills, balance on the edge, and close my eyes. I always thought I would join her in the darkness, in that cold, cold sea. But I never did.
Goddess, damn him to the Shadow Eternal! What? Kian. Kian has escaped the keep. Leave us. Now! What are you saying? That's impossible. He's supposed to die. He's gone. Fled from the roof with the help of a rebel infiltrator and a bloody riot. The roof? But how? A portal. Dark magic. That's impossible. I must interrogate the men who let him escape. They will rue this day for the rest of their short and miserable lives. And that bone-headed warden, he will pay for this with his life. I don't understand. Friar's Keep is warded against Thaumaturgy. Inside, yes, which is why they fled to the roof. Protectors, do you have any idea where he is? With the rebels, I'm sure. Wherever they've holed up. I will leave no stone unturned to find them. In their hands, Alvane is a poisonous dagger. You think I'm not aware? You think I don't know how dangerous he is? I know that traitor better than anyone. But I will find him. Him and his cohorts. Under the sight of the goddess, this I swear. Before the first arrives. It won't reach her ears. You make sure of that. If she learns their precious apostle is still alive, she will want him alive so that she can speak to him. And if she learns the truth... We won't give her the opportunity. Good. Because if she ever does, you and I will be paying with our lives. What in the light are you waiting for? You won't catch him in here, Commander. Go! Take care of this! Goddess, watch it. 